Okay, so it's finally time to get back to work on this. Wait. I'm alright with this. Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield, and welcome back at long last to some more of our building of the Enterprise D. Welcome back to the shipyard. New year, new uniform, and it's taken a while for some of these parts to finally show up. I've had two issues show up within the space of a couple of days, so I'm going to be having a nice busy weekend, and yeah, let's just get to it, because new things are happening, and I'm liking it, so let's get on with it. So to start off stage 59, we've got this little section of hull plate. This is going to be our first piece to start the underside of the saucer. So uh, we've got some very, some different windows because these are slightly larger. Uh, I think this is meant to be part of 10 forward, I think, uh, or possibly something on the deck beneath, beneath it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get these out and get them all stuck in. So these windows have had to go in a very specific way because they they have a specific shape. Uh, they had like a little slant at, at the end nearest this side of the plate, uh, and a slightly longer oop, I was escaping, slightly longer lip. I did try to bring it up to the camera, but it just wouldn't focus on it. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, not getting to check that out properly. But they're all there like that. So we've just got to stick this uh, reflector panel in behind it. That's the one. Next up, we get to immediately attach uh, a bit of phaser strip right on there. So, need a couple of CP screws going in the back of that. I'll get that fixed on. And then the last thing we need to do is we've got a couple of transporter emitter pads that we need to just stick into these spaces here. So I'll take the backing off of those and get them on. And there we go. Plate is all done. Now we get to start uh, faffing around with some stuff inside the saucer, so I've got to make some room. We've got to bring that big bugger over here. Now the instructions are referencing something that, like, it was a spare or an unassigned bulb from stage one of the build. God knows I'm not going to remember which line, light that was. It might be the one in the bridge module, but I'm going to check my book, full of books, and I'm going to find out. Yes, it was that unassigned one from the bridge modules. Fuck, I've got to find that now. Alright, I found it. And I've cocked up. <laughs> I bundled it in with this lot. Um, it was underneath the circuit board in the front, and obviously you had to take that one off to go and find it. Um, this might take a while, give me a moment. Okay, I've managed to untangle the bulb. I've given it enough slack to get it to where I need to be, which is right here. Uh, I'm going to try and put the rest of this back together, and then we'll carry on with... Uh, with what we were doing. Okay, things are back to normal. So what we've got now, we've got this little bulb here. I've had to completely split the wires across because it needs to kind of, needs to sit in here, which is a very snug space. Uh, I've got a piece that I need to screw over it. Um, so I'm gonna try and get that in place. Hopefully that will get nice and secure. Let's give it a go. We go that's been secured in i i'm not going to go tightening it too much because i don't want to go about kind of crushing the wires or trying to like ended up cracking the bulb or anything like that i think it's as in as firmly as i can get it so that will do moving on i can put this down because now we get to put a few finishing touches onto the nacelle and this is where things are going to start looking good so first off we've got a formation light that needs to sit in the back of this, like so. So it's going to be poking out right there. And then, ooh, I'm going to plug this into this. Don't have to worry about threading the wires in any way. It recommends going under the frame, so yeah, I'll do that. Okay, that proved infinitely more tricky to put together than I thought it would, but it's in. So now, we get to close this without trapping any wires. Ooh, I said no trapping any wires. Ooh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> Don't drop stuff. Don't drop stuff. That's that's prime directive. Prime directive number two. Yeah. Okay. I think I think that's it. 
<laughs> right, time to screw this bad boy up. Uh, CP screws, those are the ones. Come in. I love that there's a little face in the bottom of this. He's terrified. He's seen a warp. This, this is the face that's seen a warp core breach. Right, so all of that has been screwed together now. And we get to put one last little finishing touch on here by covering this up and getting rid of all of those nasty little screws. I mean, they're serving their purpose. I, I shouldn't be too angry at them, but they, they do kind of detract from the overall look. I'm gonna make sure that this is nice and pressed in. Oh, you need good grip to press this down. Strong hands, go! And there you have it. That is looking nice. Oh yeah. And now we can move on to stage 60 where we've got another piece of our uh, hole plating. Uh, this one's plastic, so this is definitely going to be an edge piece. Um, so, yeah, we've got these massive windows on them. These are absolutely huge. Ludicrous. Right. But we've obviously got to fill them all out, so uh, let me get rid of all of the stuff that I don't need at the moment, and let's get busy. Okay, reflector panel has been sorted. This is all good to go. We've got to start putting it onto the saucer, but we've also got to play around with some of these wires as well. Right, some new lights have been threaded through. Uh, we've got these ones here. They need to go into the, the front part of this, I believe. So I need to have a look at how this all gets fixed in, because we're gonna start attaching it to the frame in a second. Okay, wiring is done here. Uh, it's a bit flappy at the moment. Uh, I've got another light that I need to put in. I don't know where I've put it. There it is. You need to go somewhere else, don't you? Because you've got a different connector. You've got a dinky one. Okay, that wire has been th plugged in, threaded through. Hoping that it stays in place. And then that needs to come along and plug into here. And I need to fold its wire over quite aggressively. Right, there we go. So I think that's kind of going to hold it in place a little. I don't know. What's next? Right, next we take this piece and it just goes over it. Ooh. Things kind of click. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's saucy. Right. Now, I've got to get all of this tucked away neat and tidy, tuck away these cables, and then that's going to fix in right here. Ooh, this is exciting. Also, I like that the, f the screw fixtures or the screw points are all like kind of attached and then obviously we're going to be having other plates covering them as we go around. So I like that that's a good way of trying to hide all of the uh, the fixtures. Very smart, I like it. Okay, I think we're all in. Now we get to plug in the power and see if the lights are gonna work properly. God, I hope they do. <laughs> that one. Yes, that one. Oh, nice. Look at everything blinking, yeah, damn. Uh, these ones look a little subdued. I'm thinking nothing really seems to have come loose. But, I don't know, I like it. Let's move on, because we finally have some other lights to test. It's time to take the warp nacelle for a spin. I bought some batteries specifically for this. Do you think I can find them now? No. Okay. Each of these nacelles requires two of these uh, CR2032 batteries. Uh, we put our little cover over it. So get now, oh, come on. There we are. <laughs> Play silly buggers with me. And moment of truth. Oh wow. 
Oh, that looks so... Look at how bright that is. Oh my god. You know what this means? We're going to turn the lights off. Holy shit, that looks good. I'm really having a fun time with this. When we get to moments like this, this is when it really comes together. Ah, oh, the way the light's getting caught in the webcam. That's really good. Beautiful. Okay, stage 61. We have another big plate, and this is going to be sitting right at the very edge. So, you know, we got this one's actually the edge piece, which is metal. Uh, and then we've got the first kind of piece that's going to be forming the rim around the saucer. So connecting the two sides and kind of completing the 10 forward area. So I'm looking forward to getting that done. Let's get on with it with a ton of escape pods to go into this bad boy. Right, I've got that plate all fixed together. Uh, I wasn't, I, I got confused by which way around these um, escape, escape pods needed to go. Because uh, in the instructions it said the concave edge of the panel, I, you know, or you know, keep the red lines furthest away from the concave edge of the panel. I'm just like, what's the fucking concave? So I had to look up what concave and convex were because I can never remember the difference. And I've kind of figured it out. Like concave, it caves inwards. So I think that's probably just how I'm going to have to deal with it in the future. But you know, I don't know come up with better terms. Either way, we've got to fix this bit on to this now. Um, I've got to figure out which way around it goes because there is a slight difference in it. Alright, there we are. That's all looking nice. Let's uh, see what we've got to do with... Right, so we've got this little piece here. This is the front formation light. Uh, we don't need this until the next stage. So um, that can go away. And this can come back. I like how like I sound more and more strained the, the longer this goes on whenever I have to pick this up. <laughs> it's great fun. Right, there is a hole in this, and that hole is for this light. Goes in that way. And then that needs to squeeze. Into here somewhere. That needs to clip into place. Oh boy. This is where things get spicy. Oh, this bit right in the center doesn't want to clip into place, and I'm really worried I'm going to break something. Oh boy. Because the, the edge of the saucer very definitely needs to clip under this rim. Oh, but it's not having it. Right, I think I finally got it. We're good. It's time to screw this thing in. Now, let's check all of the lighting. Make sure I haven't buggered anything up. Nope. We're all good. Formation light is looking nice and strong. Oh, now we're looking on the other side. Ugh. Yeah, that's all good. I think one of those windows might have come loose. No, I think it's fine. It's been a little loosey-goosey, but otherwise, it's looking fantastic. We're finally down to the last stage for this issue, and we've got some more work to do here on the saucer. Um, we've got this wire, which is going to be a power connector. I think that's going to plug into or whatever our... Um, battery pack is going to end up being and hopefully make things a bit easier when we're trying to test lights and stuff like that so I've got to weave this in around under here somehow all right that's all good then we've got a few more lights that I believe we've got to give similar treatments to so well, similar treatments to what we did under under this section here in the front. So we've got to take these wires and we've got to split them up because they've got to 
spread themselves out a little bit. They've got to be that kind of shape when we're we're putting them in. Uh, there's various little spots around here where they've got to sit. So the positions for all of these lights are here and then here. So they're just on either side of what we've we've been working on. Um, I'm going to try and tackle them one at a time. Don't know if this is going to make it into the uh, into the video because it's going to be tricky and fiddly stuff, and I can't be asked to try and uh, you know. It's, it's not that I can't be asked. Sometimes it's difficult to go about showing some of the more kind of minute stuff with the setup that I'm working with. Um, but you'll you'll see the work once it's done. Okay, that's been a bit of a trial, but all of the wires are in. Let's. Um, check to see that things are working properly. That makes it so much easier. Why didn't they send that sooner? Yeah, there we go. So we got two lights over here, two lights over there. Everything's fixed in, love it. And now we get to uh, put this PCB to use, along with these weird little struts. Uh, we finally get to make a start on the engineering hull. So this is going to be the top of the engineering section and uh, this bit here is the mount essentially for the display stand which it did come along with this issue um, I don't really have much space here to kind of show it off uh, but it's basically a fancy tripod um, there's like a kind of cardboard surround with you know the kind of the branding on it um, but I think as it is you know, I'm, I'll probably show it off later in the build once uh, more of this section has kind of come together. Um, but for now, we've got a couple of bits that we need to do. So these two little struts need to sit in somewhere. I think it's around here. No, it's in here. So kind of up towards the front. These are going to be uh, helping to brace um, a lot of the, the build that we're doing down here. So those brackets are now on. Uh, that one seems a little bit wonky. Very wonky. Let me redo that. They're kind of straight now. It's a little bit better. I, I will try and figure it, like play with it when we get to like a point where we're fixing something on the other end. Uh, for now, the last stage of this issue is to fix a new PCB straight down onto here. And that's going to conclude things for stage 62 and issue, what number are we on? 16. There we go. So this one's been good. I, I've enjoyed this. It's nice to be back to working on this model. And uh, yeah, the, the kind of progress that's happened in this one has been really good. Obviously, we're kind of we're working on more of the saucer for the or, or the underside of the saucer and it's starting to you know, get its kind of shape and its colour now that we're putting a uh, hull plating on. Completing the first nacelle is a milestone. There's another another small section of this done. So we can kind of take that bit off. So I'm really pleased with that. And just for how bloody bright it is, god damn, that was insane. But I'm looking forward to sitting down with issue 17 because I do have that to work on as well. So I'm probably going to be getting on with that once I've gone for a pee and a drink or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, apologies for it taking so long to come along. It's just that nothing got delivered. You know, uh, about a month between deliveries on this one. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the new uniform. Let me know on whether or not, you know, what you think of the build. And if you're doing the build at home, how are you guys getting on? And yeah. Happy New Year to all of you, despite the fact that we're in February now. <laughs> and just thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meatshield, signing off.